Hi guys, it's this is Carl. Um, welcome back. Um, just want to give you a quick look at my next project that I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, I hope I'm going to pronounce this right. This is the Lutrec, a 3D printer without belts. Uh, it's going to be quite an undertaking because you know, what I can know of, there's only one complete one built so far. Uh, this guy. The eventer. Um, what attracted me to this 3D printer is not the fact that it's got no belts, but um, the build size mainly. Uh, it's 320 by 320 by 260 millimeters. Uh, that's a hell of a build area. Uh, projects I have planned for the future and other ideas. Uh, I need that sort of sizes. There's not a lot out there unless you're going to spend, you know, two to three thousand dollars or pounds. Um, so I'm going to attempt to make this. Um, it's quite well, nicely documented. You know, you got it on Thingiverse. Through there, you can go to a link called Open Builds. You dream it, build it, share it. Lovely little website. Um, it's got. It's got some really clever guys on here, mostly with engineering backgrounds. I do believe the guy that invented this or designed this 3D printer, he's actually got an engineering background. And I think when you start looking at his build manual, you, that kind of comes into play because you get like the uh, the designs, the uh, the drawings, uh, they're very very nice, very clear. And easy to understand. Um, I don't think I'm going to have much problems actually building the printer itself. My main problems and probably my weakness is going to be like the software side of things and the settings and the calibration of it. The actual hardware and getting this all nice and plumb and square once it's built or erected it's um, pretty easy for me. Um, but I mean, I've printed majority of my 3D printed parts, as you can see over here. So I've got the camera work. I'm just sorting out good prints and bad prints, as we all have them. Um, I've got the majority of the nuts and bolts, as you can say, about the, the printer. Um, I'm going to use a ramp board, or attempt to use a ramp board on this um, through my build. It, it's suggested on here to use some other board. I'm, I'm not actually sure what that is at the moment. Um, obviously, I'll let you know when we get closer to that point. Uh, I fancy doing a, a few little videos and um, hope uh, gives some people some inspiration to build from scratch rather than going to these websites where they've got a printer that's pretty tried and tested um, this is truly in the spirit of rip rap really because uh, I feel that once I've built this one from not a lot of info so far um, I feel like I could probably design my own but uh, more about that later on a later date but uh, for the time being, um, that's me, done. Uh, so I'm waiting for a few more parts to come and I may do a few couple of videos of assembling certain parts of it and then building the whole printer. Uh, pretty much going to be nicking the idea from uh, Maker Farms. Um, video tutorial on how to build his printer but obviously with the Lutrec. Um, anyway, thank you. Bye.